Hello, welcome to a new video about .NET MAUI. Today I will show you how to get started with the .NET 8 preview for .NET MAUI on Mac. I run this in parallels on a virtual machine because I want to separate preview software from what I'm using for my daily work. So, but I had some problems setting up parallels. It was not possible to change the disk size by default, so I had to run script to create the virtual machine. But I will add a link to that in the video description if you want to do that too. So, when going to the preview, we can read the blog post from David Ortino. So this is the latest one. First talk about some new features of .NET MAUI and this preview release, but if you go to the end, we can see what we need to do to install this update on our machine. So we have Windows, just install the preview of Visual Studio. So then we have, if you are on Mac OS, you can develop using Visual Studio for Mac after enabling the preview feature in .NET 8 in preferences and installing .NET 8 Preview 7 from the installer. So I have done that. And as you can see here, for Windows, it said you should use the preview of Visual Studio. And of course, I went there and installed the preview of the Visual Studio for Mac too. So then if we go to preferences here, and we go to preview features, there are no .NET 8 here, and that is the preview. And then I opened Visual Studio, the stable version, because I have both of them because it's no problem to run them side by side. But then I check the version number and I realized the preview has an older version number than the stable version. Really strange if you ask me, because the preview should be the one that have the newest features. But okay, I close the preview and I open the, the stable one or the release one. And then I went to preferences. Preview features down here. And here we have it. Use the .NET 8 SDK. And that makes it possible for me to run .NET 8. But what I also had to do is go to the .NET page and, and download the SDK for .NET 8 Preview 7. So you should go to .NET.Microsoft.com and then download. And then here you have get .NET 8 Preview. And for Mac, you go here and select ARM64 if you have an M1 or an M2, or otherwise you go for X64. And also for my virtual machine I'm running on my M1, I should use the ARM64 one. And the last step I need to do to is to install the .NET MAUI workload. So to do that, we go to the terminal. We make sure that we run on uh, .NET 8 by typing .NET dash dash version. And here you can see 8.0.100 preview seven and then some other numbers. So sudo .NET workload install MAUI. Then you need to type, type your password and now it will install the workload for .NET MAUI. So we don't need to wait for that because I've already done that. So we can go and create a new project. .NET MAUI app. And now we can see that we can select all your target frameworks that you have installed. So for .NET MAUI, it can be six, seven, eight. I have not six installed, so I can only select between seven and eight. So we take .NET 8 and give the project the name, .NET 8 demo, and we create it. So everything looks like it used to do with .NET 7, but if we open .NET 8 demo and edit project file, we can see some difference here. Of course, we have .NET 8 instead of .NET 7, and that's something you need to change if you upgrade, of course. But here we can take a look at what packages we installed, and we can see that we also have this Microsoft.Maui.Controls. And that's something you need to add for .NET 8, because it will get the control packages like that. If we remove those, like that. Now, if we go and press build, 
and we go to the build output you can soon see here that we will get a message about this here warning ma002 starting with dotnet 8 setting use maui to true does not automatically include nugget package reference in your product Upload your project by including this item project reference, include Microsoft Maui controls. Okay, you can also skip this warning by setting skip value at Maui implicit package reference in your project file. But if they say that I should have it, I of course add it. So that is something you can think about when you're updating from, uh, from .NET 7 to .NET 8 that you can add those NuGet packages. So I have not played around very much with this preview, but I realized that some bugs I have with .NET 7 is fixed in .NET 8. And that's a good thing, even if I wish that they could add the bug fixes already now to .NET 7. But uh, yeah, maybe I will run .NET 8 for all my projects from now, because it seems to work pretty well. For example, I had a visual state manager in one project that did not work. Uh, as it should when um, unfocused from a control, but with .NET 8 it works like a charm. And I plan to do more videos about .NET MAUI and .NET 8 uh, very soon. I will show you what's new, what's improved and how to use it and so. So if you like my video, please subscribe to my channel. And now you can also be a member and that means that you will support the channel and make it possible for me to create more videos, but you will also get early access to videos and you will also get the source code if I do demos in the videos. So thank you very much for watching this video. See you next time. Bye bye.